Well, that speaks for itself, I guess. Let's see what's inside. Well, that speaks for itself, I guess. Let's see what's inside. This is the steel model of Mulberry Harbor. Existed. Mulberry caissons that have been towed over from the boats. Boats. They needed two artificial ports because all of the ports on the French coast were occupied and heavily defended by the German forces. There was one artificial harbor for the Americans, 20 kilometers to the west at Collins and Laurent Yarmer, and one for the British where we are today at Acromanche. This is the steel model of Mulberry Harbor. Mulberry caissons that have been towed over from the boats. They needed two artificial ports because all of the ports on the French coast were occupied and heavily defended by the German forces. There was one artificial harbor for the Americans, 20 kilometers to the west at Collins and Laurent Yarmer, and one for the British, where we are today at Acromanche. As soon as the sea wall had been built, the pier started to be installed. First, a large central pier. It was composed of seven platforms, in a length of 750 meters, and it was connected to the shore by two floating roads. Each road was... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. water barrier or water break. Then they laid these metal floating caissons which would sit on the bottom and could rise and fall with the tides. And as you can see, provided a roadway to uh, load here and offload at the other end. After the mulberry was put in the side, provide a water barrier or water break. Then they laid these metal floating caissons, which would sit on the bottom and could rise and fall with the tides. And as you can see, provided a roadway to uh, load here and offload at the other end. For well, this idea of Sir Winston Churchill, the port got its name, it's called Port Winston, and the military code name was Mulberry B, B for British. The traffic could all come off there. On the 6th of June 1944, the Allies landed in Normandy, the Americans, British, Canadians and French. There were also landing troops from Belgium and the Greece. For this idea of Sir Winston Churchill, the port got its name, it's called Port Winston, and the military code name was Mulberry B, B for British. On the 6th of June 1944, the Allies landed in Normandy, the Americans, British, Canadians and French. There were also landing troops from Belgium. There's the ocean in. Large floating dock built there, hooking up to the steel roadway going to the beach. 
and there is a uh, large uh, troop carrier unloading equipment onto this dock and then along the roadway to the beach. And there's the ocean end. A large floating dock built there, hooking up to the steel roadway going to the beach. And there's a uh, large uh, coop carrier unloading equipment onto this dock and then along the roadway to the beach. Yeah. There's an up-close view of concrete mulberries, as they were called, that were built in England, towed across, and they dumped six or seven them kilometers off the beach. The, the box car. Yeah, the old box car. I think See, that was older than the ones we were. Somehow, Mesdames et Messieurs, je vous demande également votre... Votre attention pour les personnes de langue française, s'il vous plaît. Le film sur la construction. Mesdames et Messieurs, je vous demande également votre votre attention pour les personnes de langue française, s'il vous plaît. Le film sur la construction. Cut corners on and didn't. And when the storm came through on the 27th, all of the American mulberries were destroyed and these survived pretty well. If you look out through the window there, you can see some of the mulberries remaining on this. I didn't stay there. Bed of the water. Probably look for it later outside. As I was saying when I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> These are the mulberries which the British connected properly to the Americans. Cut corners on and didn't. And when the storm came through on the 27th, all of the American mulberries were destroyed and these survived pretty well. If you look out through the window there, you can see some of the mulberries remaining on this. Yeah, that's good. I didn't stay there. Bed of the water. Probably look for it later outside. And you can see the parts of the Mulberry Harbor way out of the I'm sure it still is. My mother was leaving. Oh, yeah. Silly Mary Brown was not here during well, the Well, it had to be pretty good. I met this young lady here oh, right. 50 years ago. <laughs> Four mulberries beyond the year. Mary Brown. Hard to see them. And a quick scan of the little town of Aramanche. One of our buses, not ours, but the same as ours. Yeah. And you can see the uh, parts of the Mulberry Harbor way out of the I'm sure it still is. My mother was leaving. Oh, yeah. Silly Mary Brown was not here during well, the Well, it had season. to be pretty good. I met this young lady here oh, right. 50 years ago. <laughs> Four mulberries beyond the year. Mary Brown. Hard to see them. And a quick scan of the little town of Aramanche. One of our buses, not ours, but the same as ours.